Hello friends, how are you? My name is Corbin Reed and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through my home, in my living room, a little bit in my kitchen, a little bit in my entryway, a little bit in my bedroom, and taking you through ways that I have incorporated spring into my home using textiles and fresh florals and some objects that I've replaced by selling old objects. I've really just been simplifying, scaling back, adding in fresh touches, switching things out to just create a more minimal look to my space. Um, so just peeling things back a little bit, but also adding in things that are just a little bit more simple in the spirit of spring. So I'll be showing you how I style these items in all these rooms in my home. If that sounds interesting to you, then please just keep on watching. First things first, I added this glass vase from Ikea. This is a really good find. I will link it down below with some similar finds, but I just am really into glass for spring. I think the transparency of it just adds a light airiness to the space and there's something just really nice and fresh about being able to see the water inside of the vessel. So I got these baby's breath from Trader Joe's. They were like $3 for a bundle. So I got probably like six bundles that I put throughout my home. I love fresh florals for fall and baby's breath are really great because as they dry out, they pretty much retain their color and their vibrancy and their shape. So they last a really, really long time. And I just love the wild, light, bright, movement that they bring to my space and to me they just really say spring so i'm just going in i had cut the stems a little bit at the bottom for height and as i'm adding them i rotate the vase to make sure that it looks good from all angles and that i'm really filling it in to give it the fullest shape and then i just sort of fluff it out just to make sure that it's got that nice round full look to it Shears are an Amazon find. I absolutely love them. They feel super luxurious and they cut just about any stem you can think of. You could literally go forage with these. They're super heavy duty and I love the wood handle. So I will link those down below. In this corner, I have this elm wood side table that I got from Olive Atelier and I'm adding this new book from Rose Tarlow. I absolutely love this book. Her style is a lot of 18th century pieces. Um, I would say most of her stuff is antiques. In this book, there's her home in Pro Provence and in Santa Barbara, and I forget what the third one is, but she just catalogs her three homes, and she's a huge antique collector. It's so earthy. The architecture in the spaces is really beautiful and the light, so I love the inspiration in this book, and I love the outside binding. Still is another ad that I've been meaning to get that I've heard a lot about, and aside from there being really beautiful images, the people in this book promote a simple, minimalistic, earthy interior and also way of life. So it just catalogs how they use simplicity and stillness to add richness and fullness to their life. So I love the message and I love the images. So I just set these two new finds on the top of the Elmwood side table. And I love the way it looks next to the fireplace. I'll also have these linked on my Amazon storefront and see if I can find a couple of Elmwood side tables that are similar since that one is vintage. Then on top of my mantle, I like to keep it really, really simple. However, I found the most beautiful vintage marble chessboard on eBay for under $60 with shipping and it's got really beautiful brown and ivory notes and it's marble and it's even got a little hint of red i want to learn how to play chess my husband told me he would teach me how to play so i thought it would be a fun thing for us to actually use but it's also a really beautiful thing to look at that i think we will have forever um so it's both functional and beautiful two of my favorite things to combine And I just really think it plays into the color story in my living room and I love the texture and the depth that it adds. Next up, I 
have this sheepskin chair, which I absolutely adore. But when I sit here, I have nowhere to put my stuff. So I added this side table from Target. It's a Magnolia Home side table. It's marble and brass, and it was under $40. I got it on sale, and it's just great to be able to put my drinks on and my phone on when I'm sitting there instead of having to drag the other side table that I have in my living room. I got really lucky. This one, this marble has a lot of really beautiful veining and movement, and for the price, I think it's fantastic. It's heavy, it's not gonna fall over, and it seems like a piece that, for the price, will last forever, but just in general, will last forever. <music> And then I've just really been lightening up my space. I had these mirrors that I got um, from an estate sale. They're antique, or they're Horchow mirrors, not antique, sorry, that are gilded gold mirrors. They're beautiful, but I wanted something light and simple. So I sold them on Facebook Marketplace and got these simple wood arched mirrors. So I got a really simple um, frame and it's minimal and it's chic and it just makes the space feel light they're a very similar height and I love the way it reflects the light in the room it again plays into the color story of my living room and then um, I had two of those mirrors so I put a second one um, as you come up the steps uh, to my kitchen and living room on the other side so they kind of act as windows um, and reflect the light all around the kitchen and the living room <laughs> In my bedroom, I still had this really beautiful velvet pottery barn quilt set that I got around the winter time on my bed. It was pretty chilly in LA up until recently, and I just wanted to switch out the textiles to something that felt lighter and more spring-like. I'm sure I will bring this quilt back out in the winter time or maybe even the fall. So I just started off with the duvet again. This is a set that I got from a brand called Piglet, and they make really beautiful, affordable linens. This is in the oatmeal stripe. I'll link it down below if it's still available, or I'll try to find something similar as usual. But I love this as just a really nice, light, airy base, and it's more interesting than just a plain white or a plain oatmeal duvet, which I do also have in a linen. This is just more texture. So this Studio McGee block print blanket, I absolutely love. I got it from Target and it was very affordable and it just has a really lovely heavy um, feel but it also looks lighter because it's not velvet um, and I just love the vintage feel but it also just feels fresh and homey and cozy and I did paint my walls um, since my bedroom makeover which if you haven't seen I will link it above I used to have it in a fair and ball French gray but I lime washed these walls with a color from Bow Work. So I'll be sure to give you guys a better look at that later. These pillows are 26 by 26. They are from Ikea. Again, very affordable. They're 100% cotton. They're simple. And then I got one sham from the Studio McGee line to match the quilt. And I just sort of flanked these against the block print pillow and I just think it gives a really nice fresh look and of course I had to chop the pillows. I don't care if it's out, it's in to me to chop them. I love the look. decorated is my entryway I, I am have an entryway makeover video coming for you guys I did a lot in here with some lime wash and picture frame molding and vintage lighting and so on but this is a piece that I restored um, this console here um, that has a lot of storage in it and I just have a Miju jar on there that had some faux peonies in it but the the color and it the weight of it just felt very heavy so I switched it out for this vintage clay handled pot and you cannot put water in these because they will dissolve into mud so I use a smaller glass vessel with water and I just added the rest of the bundles of the baby's breath that I have in here again these are really great for spaces that don't get a lot of light or spaces that you know you're not gonna go back and care for um, I'm pretty bad with live plants but for spring I do like to use fresh florals and baby's breath to me are just very low maintenance with high impact so I just did the exact same process 
pop the glass vase with water inside of the clay jar, fluffed it out. There's my dog's butt down there. <laughs> She's always hanging around wherever I am. And yeah, you guys, this is the arrangement that I put in my entryway. I really feel like I'm getting to a place in my home where I have a very consistent color palette and texture palette. Everything speaks to each other and it's very exciting and I can't wait to reveal, start revealing these spaces to you guys, but little by little, little I'm giving you little sneak peeks. So this is how I added spring to my entryway. Everything I've done is super cost effective and easy for you to incorporate into your own home. tuning in today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and just walking through my home and decorating with me for spring. I have a little bit more spring content coming your way, so be sure to stay tuned for that. I'm trying to release about like one makeover a month. I have a bunch of rooms in my home that I haven't revealed to you guys that have been made over and it's kind of difficult for me to shoot these decorate with me because I'm trying not to give too much away, but I have a kitchen makeover that I need to share. I have an entryway makeover that I need to share. I have since redone my second floor hallway, even though I already shared <laughs> a makeover of that back around the holiday time. I have a lock nook makeover that I turned into a movie room that I need to share. So there's a lot, there's a lot, a lot, a lot. And I'm just trying to roll it all out and spread it out so I can give you guys good, good content. If you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please be sure to smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of my upcoming videos. If you're not already following me over on Instagram, please be sure to go follow me over at Story design underscore with Corbin Reed. I share a lot of the BTS behind the scenes when I'm doing DIY projects or daily inspo for other accounts that I follow and get inspiration from and just scenes and moments from around my own home. So please be sure to follow me over there. Also be sure to check out my LTK. I'm sort of slowly arranging it so that you guys can shop rooms that I'm showing you and objects that I'm showing you in a more organized manner in these videos. So be sure to follow me over there so you don't miss out on that. Of course, I always link the items you will see in this video in the description box down below. So be sure to check that out if you see anything in this video and you're like, where can I buy that? It's always in the description box if it is linkable. And yeah, you guys, that is it for me this week. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next one. Bye.